I'm a dancer, and I'm a traveler. And wherever I go, I experience the world one dance at a time. I'm Michaela Malazzi, and this is Bare Feet. Traveling through the city of Tashkent, the capital of Uzbekistan in Central Asia, I make my way to the School of National Dance and Choreography. The Dance Conservatory has a highly regarded classical ballet program. As Uzbekistan recently broke from the Soviet rule in the early 90s, it only makes sense that the strong Russian ballet influence would be prevalent. Beautiful dance. And happening right across the hall from the ballerinas was a master class in traditional Uzbeki dance filled with professional dancers and live music. Of course, I couldn't resist the offer when they said I could jump in. At the heart of all traditional Uzbeki dance is the simple yet diverse hand drum, the doida. It is believed to originate over 1,000 years ago, and similar versions of this instrument can be found in Persia, the Balkans, and most Central Asian countries. The doida also has jingles to give it a tambourine-like quality. <laughs> Each hand creates a different sound on the drum. Variations on the sounds are made by how hard you strike the drum, where you strike it, and which part of the hand is being used. It feels like every every rhythm has a different voice from this instrument and it's a very simple instrument it's just a covered drum and little sort of Oh. Yeah. My arms are now much stronger. <laughs> much like its people, dance in Uzbekistan is just as diverse. So much so that I even found a taste of home at the children's school in the city of Samarkand. Never. This is my first time. I'm gonna stick my watch off. The key to breakdancing is letting go of that fear, which was obviously a challenge for me. And maybe some upper body strength. But no matter how difficult breakdancing can be, I saved the most challenging lesson for last.
Like what you see? Watch more Bare Feet episodes here or go to TravelBareFeet.com to book your next dance adventure with us.